Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to just bring you a quick little video to show you something that I picked up at the mall today. This is a new little item from Blackheart Beauty that is sold at Hot Topic. Of course, I went in there, seen if they had anything new, and I kind of wanted to get those uh, lightsaber lip glosses that came out, but they didn't have any. So I found this. Um, this is a Quill Liquid Eyeliner um, from Blackheart Beauty, or Blackheart Cosmetics. I can't remember which one they go by. But uh, that's kind of like Hot Topics makeup brand, I guess. And I've tried some of their products before, mostly like shadows and lip products, and they were decent, you know, drugstore quality. But the best thing about this is it's only $6. Really, it's only $5 if you get it, you know, with one of the mini discounts and sales. Um, let's see. Like right now on their website, it's $5.17. So it's really a good deal if this is any good because it's kind of that cute display piece if you're into that type of thing like me um, without paying the price. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I do have two kind of similar liners, these kind of ink pot, ink well looking liners. So the Storybook liner retails for $40, but you are also getting the actual um, really nicely made quill brush with it. So. That's part of what you're paying for and I think eventually they're going to sell the liner by itself without the brush or you could buy the brush separately. The Pretty Vulgar version retails for $25 and it's a very large pot, it's very hefty feeling, um, it's got a good bit of, li of liner in there. This is $5 so I mean it's cute, I mean it's not like, you know, it's got the feather design. I'll show it to you up close. So, so that's what it looks like up close. So I mean you could totally put this on your vanity and display it if you wanted to because you can turn it around to the side where there's no writing and it's just a black little container. So let's just give it a try. I've already got my makeup pretty much done so I'm just going to put the liner on we'll see how it works and that'll be the end of it. Alright so let's open this thing up. I haven't even opened it so you guys are seeing it for the first time just like me. So let's see what kind of, okay so it is um, an actual brush kind which I'm really happy about because I bought one from, I think, Wet n Wild one time and it was like the stiff brush. I need a little flexibility in mine. So let's just see what it looks like. So it's got good control and it seems pretty nice and black. Do one more little swipe. So you can do, you know, a thick line, thin line. We'll see if it dries down matte while it's drying. I'll just go ahead and zoom you in and we will put it on the eye. I don't want this video to be long. I figure it's liner. This should be quick and easy. <laughs> so I'm already really enjoying holding on to the little feather as a handle. It's kind of like, it's delicate, but it's easy to hold on to. I'm trying to make sure I don't block you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my liner and try not to block your view. Let me try it like this. Okay, so there you go. Let me just zip through the other eye and then we'll recap. All right, so that's it. So as I mentioned, it was actually really easy to apply. So obviously I was originally comparing the liner to these two from Storybook and Pretty Vulgar. And really the reason for that was just because they're the quill and ink style liner, but these two are gel liners and this is a full on liquid liner with a brush. So obviously there's a major difference there and that actually might work in some people's favor. Some people don't like gel liners, so this could be a great option for you. Um, or like I said, if you like the whole quill appearance and you just don't wanna spend 25 to $40 on one, this would be a good option. Um, I found it really easy to use. Again, it's not a fully matte black, but I don't feel like it's too shiny to where it looks like, you know, wet the whole time. So I like the appearance of it. Um, the brush was easy to use. I personally liked using this little fake feather as a handle. I kind of felt like it just kind of gave like a delicate handle to hold on to while I did the liner. Um, for me, I kind of like just being able to do like that. And then I did kind of grip the base right here when I went in to do the wing. So you kind of have that option as well. 
Um, what was the other thing? Oh, so <laughs> the swatches are gone as you can tell. So I ran to the bathroom after I finished doing this and instead of using soap and water offhand, I decided just to run my hand under the water just to see. Um, if it came off immediately with water, and it actually didn't. So I was really surprised there. Let me see if it actually claims to be waterproof. It doesn't claim to be waterproof or budge proof on here, but like I said, when I ran my hand under the water, I even started just lightly rubbing my finger over it and it didn't come off. It wasn't until I actually applied a bit more pressure and kind of rubbed with the water, and then it kind of like flaked away and disappeared. I didn't even need soap, so I mean, I think if you're wearing this and maybe got a little misty eyed, you know, and were crying at a wedding or something, I think it would stay on pretty nicely. I don't think that you would have an issue with it running. So <laughs> overall, I have to say this is a really great liner, especially for the cost. So it's a great affordable liner. So this is definitely a win in the Hot Topic box, something really good to come out of Black Heart Beauty. I think this is an awesome product here. You guys will probably see me using it a lot more often in my videos because truth be told, I'm a liquid liner girl. As much as I love these cute little pot gel liners because they're adorable, Horrible. I'm just more comfortable using liquid liners. So that's just me and I really enjoyed using this. So you guys will probably see me using it a lot more often in my videos. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick review. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and thank you for watching. Bye guys.